Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. I get my stance every year. I started them off in this little deal right here. I just try to get everything online. You'll see everything I do is online. I, uh, I want a nice flat back. I always want a nice flat back and I always look to see my hips are between my knees and my ankles. And then uh, I've always been a big firm believer in rolling this knee down. If I'm stepping with this foot here is to roll the opposite knee down and just push my hips and everything forward. One thing I always made sure was, is those kids you should watch, if they're stepping properly, that ankle will never ever go back down. It shouldn't push off. It should just roll down and should stay locked in place. And I used to have kids do that all the time. I'll show it to you a couple of different times in this talk today about uh, what they're supposed to do when they come out. You can see this, this, kid's, this kid's left ankle never changed. It just stayed locked in place. I know sometimes this uh, video is uh, a little bit, I'm ahead sometimes, but I'll try to maintain a, a semblance of close to, close to being what I want. The one thing I always talked about again, as you can see right here, and I'm gonna show it again, is that ankle never went down. All he did was roll this knee to the ground to get started. And he just picked that foot up and placed it in the ground. I always thought the first step all my life, people said six inch jab step, six inch jab step. And it was hard for me to get a six inch jab step, but all I'm really looking for is like this kid right here is I'm just talking about just taking that knee and rolling it down and pushing that hip over and stepping in the ground. I take this leg on my first step. I always try to find, I always try to keep my ankle and my knee in that same relationship. So I got power. I try to keep it going north and south because I think everything needs to be going north and south and you try to sprint off of it. If I don't have a line, I use the different turfs, and my second step should be to my hand. First step over the line, second gains ground. First step's an up over step. Second step gains ground, and the third step is the action step. You will get a plus from me if the third step goes forward. If the third step goes anywhere else, balances up, you'll get a minus. I was a hard grader. This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful rep by this number 60 right here. He pushes that knee down. He gets that right knee inside his right ankle and he goes straight up the field. I, a lot of times when I do this, I, I use not only the single man shoot, single man shoot is four by four by four. I'm looking for an up over step. And I'm looking for the second step to be north and south on that line. An up over step, the second step north and south on that line. I think again that the heads and shoulders and then the eyes, you have to look at what you're seeing. They can't have their eyes down. They have to have their eyes going up to the linebacker, finding out where is the guy you're blocking. I think that the second step with the hands is important. I think you got to run off the ball. This is a great example of running off the ball, coming straight up the field, looking right at the camera. This is an excellent job right here. This left knee, you can see, again, ever exaggerating that left knee. His right foot is up the field. His right ankle, his right knee is inside the ankle. He's squared up. He sees the linebacker. He's coming at you. Nice. This boy right here had his head down. He was just going through the drill. He didn't care. Boom. 
again, another reason why I put the camera there, because you're a linebacker, you got to look your linebacker in. He clearly was just doing the drill. He clearly was just trying to get his feet, his two feet in the ground. He was concentrating on that. When he did that, you could see his arch in his back. He had an arch in his back. His head went down. His eyes went down. He's out of control, and he runs right into my cameraman. I think that when you take a good first step, you gain ground. This guy nearest us, his second step's in the chute. He's through the chute. It's four by four by four. The guy at the top, he lateral stepped. He crossed over, and I know that was painful. I asked my center quarterback exchange. I had a couple of kids from last year, high school, coming over here, but with the COVID, and they just went locked down. I didn't have a chance to get them in there, but I had some cut-ups from before. I do this drill every single day. I'm stepping over the line. I'm stepping over the line, and I'm trying to get my hand to the back of that bag just as fast as I can. I'm rolling my knee again. I'm rolling my knee and just play, just gaining ground. The second step ought to go straight up the bag because I'm trying to work on delivery, and I'm trying to go ahead and let the quarterback in the exchange section, the football going to the quarterback, letting him feel that ball in his hands, and then getting my right hand up because I got a man dead on my face and I got to get out of there. I try to get the back of the pad down, and what I try to do is get the chest over that bag. I try to get this chest over this bag. One thing I think in all, in, all, in all alignment, I like to have a good space between the knees and the arms. I like to have that chest plate of the shoulder pads so that I'm extended out in my stance. That's a very good rep by that center. This is one of my, I use this drill as, a, as the other hands drill. It's, it's, a, it's called marry the dog. It looks funny. The kids, the kids always jack around with me, but it's roll, 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 roll out of there. Rick Trickett came down there and spent a couple of days with me, and he, he was fascinated by this drill. We went in there, and he uh, tried to explain to me how to do it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't demonstrate for him, and I wouldn't let him demonstrate either. But what I'm telling you is you're going to keep your hips and shoulders on the same plane. You want that you want that hips inside the ankle, and all you want to do is keep your shoulders there and roll your hips down, roll your hips down, roll your hips down, and then what you want to do is walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. So roll, roll, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. You can see this kid uses hips. This boy right here, he's a he's no he's a garbage man. He's not no line man. He's a garbage man. Same thing on that base drill on the linebacker. I'm going a little time, but uh, and the base. I'm running three drills at one time. It was me and another guy and another guy. Here again, you can see where this kid he he is not rolling his hips down. He's just rolling his hips. He, his back is arched. He's got himself in a bad situation. Cuz right here, he's just doing knee bends. He's bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down, and he's bouncing up and down. All three not a good rep but I'm fixing to show you a good rep here in a minute. Here you go. Here you go. This guy right here. Watch this kid right here. Hips down. Boom. Shoulders stayed in position. Hands extend out. He brings his body weight into the black bag. He brings his body weight back in the bag. This kid did a nice job. He brought his body weight into the bag. This is my big boy. Mikey, 61. Wide base. Got himself in there. He's trying to work on it. I gave him a roll. That, there's a little roll of the hip, and his hands got up inside there. That's a good little pop. This is another one I think you could do in the offseason in the gymnasium. Um, kids have fun with it. Again, hold the bag upside down. Shoot your hands up through there. Get yourself going in the right direction. Base block. Scooping. You saw the scoop before. I have those two-by-fours. They're three foot long. You put, your, you put, uh, your, your, put one foot on that ball. The, it put the bag on the other at the other end of the board. So you're going six feet right there. He's scooping six feet. You push the hip over, you roll the knee down, you come up through the bag, you come up to the chute, your eyes are up, you try to fire that hand up in there. You're trying to get that hand up the field, up the field, up the field. 
You're trying to get up the field. Sometimes you'll cross over in this drill, but it's more important to get that second step north and south. The first step opens up and pushes the hip, and that right, that left knee comes down. I think if you see from right here, from the back end, it's a boom. That's that's what you're looking for. You look at this left knee and watch this right foot point out, out here. And then he's north and south up the field, squared up. His shoulders are square. So anybody coming over, the top, he can redirect now any direction. But if you keep working yourself, and I've done this before, I used to say 45, 60, 90, but it never really truly was. It's always been like, I don't know, 55 degrees, 65 degrees, where you're going in this direction. And then you kind of set the wall right there just as fast as you can. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And you also get notified when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.